Good morning. Happy Monday and welcome back to the vlog. I've not vlogged quite like this in, in a while. It's been a while and I've missed you guys. I hope you all have been doing well. I actually edited a whole vlog and never posted it because right after I got done editing, I just started dealing with a lot of stuff in my life, let's just say. So I feel like I've always been the type of person on YouTube who wants to kind of have things together before I come to you and tell you what's going on, you know, and, and be able to just provide the lesson, like let's just skip to the good part. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm in a season of life where I don't have all the answers and that's a little scary. I always have this fear of coming across as I'm like complaining or something like that. But when my favorite creators do that, I just hold space for them and learn from what they're going through if I can. So I'm gonna tell you what I've been going through and just a little warning that it might sound like I'm complaining. You know, there might be some kind of darker things that I'm talking about that maybe if you're sensitive to that, you might wanna tune out, protect your own mentals. But first I'm making a little fruit bowl. It's noon actually. I got up and took a nice walk and just got some stuff around the house done. My house is kind of a mess because last night was both the Oscars and a women's national team game, the final and the gold cup. So I was like double screening last night on my couch. I turned it into a bed and so my house is kind of a mess. So just been doing some stuff like that this morning and didn't really have time to eat. So I'm gonna make a little fruit bowl for like lunch, I guess, breakfast, lunch. And then I want to catch up with you and share where I've been at and what's been going on and what you can expect from me here in this space in the future. I'll admit yesterday's fruit bowl was a little more pretty, but I didn't want all the things. This is a standout though. If you can find this, Sunflower butter, this one has hemp oil in it too. Hemp seed, I don't know. If you can find it, it is amazing. But I'm gonna tell you something. I cannot find it anywhere, ever. It's always like out of stock. But I'm gonna be honest, it really sets off the apple. Okay, this stuff too, so good. I'm gonna have a turmeric shot and then let's head up to the office and, and talk a little bit. Shake, 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 shake your turmeric. As I was eating, I was like, no matter what goes on in my life, at least I'm not allergic to kiwi because kiwi is so good. I had just seen somebody post on social media about how they were deathly allergic to kiwi and put things into perspective for me. And now my lips are itchy after eating a whole kiwi. I'm like, is that a coincidence? Is it the lip gloss I put on this morning? I don't know. Okay, so let's chat. Let's just get this out of the way before we start the rest of the vlog. I told you maybe back in September, I got the illness that shut down the world a few years ago for the first time. And it was a really hard recovery. I talked to a lot of my friends who, you know, got it and they were like, yeah, it was like a cold or like a flu. And you know, I kind of just got over it really quickly. I did not. It took me at least a month before I was even able to just kind of walk around the block or walk up and down the stairs without getting winded or do just like a mile on the treadmill, just like basic light exercise. I finally started to feel a little bit better, although the fatigue continued, but like physically, I feel like I'm back to normal. And then about a week later, I got the worst sty that I'd ever had. I've gotten styes over the years here and there, you know, maybe one a year, something like that, but never to this extent. It was one sty, and then the other eye happened. I'm gonna put some pictures, so trigger warning if again, if stuff grosses you out or weirds you out. They were like cystic, which is called a chalazian once they get to that point. So I had two chalazians, one on each eye, and my eyes just, like I just didn't look like myself. It was pretty hard for me to do my job. I had a video shoot with a client right as this was popping off. <laughs> popping off, no pun intended. I was literally steaming my eyes my entire waking hours to try to look semi-normal for this shoot. Luckily I wasn't gonna be on camera, but still, you know, I just felt not like myself. It hurt, it was very painful. Long story short, it didn't really go down for a good couple of months. I went to an eye doctor, she gave me an antibiotic and that 
kind of helped, but not really. I still just, when I look at anything I've posted in the past six months, I don't look like myself. One of the reasons too, is I have barely worn any makeup for the past six months, just out of an abundance of caution. My doctor told me it's totally fine to wear makeup, that that's not the root of the issue, the cause of the issue. So anyway, I had seriously, I had like a week where everything was perfect. Like I feel like I looked like myself. I looked normal. I'll show you the shot where I filmed a video and everything, you could barely see a scar. And then it came back, but this time on the bottom of my eye, which it's almost gone. This is after a month. When this first happened, it was like a large welt. Like it looked like I'd been, you had like a mosquito bite or something underneath my eye. I, I also wanna put a couple of disclaimers out here just as we're talking. Like if you've experienced something similar, if you have a story you wanna share, that's wonderful. I welcome that, but please just refrain from sharing anything that's prescriptive or telling me what to do or telling me what I did wrong. Um, or diagnosing me with something, I'm telling you like three minutes. You don't know the whole, you know, everything that I've tried, all the doctors I've seen, like my medical history and all of that. And I just wanna be mindful of that. And I also, I know that so many people in my life have said, you know, I can't even tell, I don't even know what you're talking about. Or, you know, you look amazing still. And I know those are all really well-meaning statements, but when you're dealing with something that one physically makes you feel uncomfortable and makes things hard. And when you, you know, can't even look in a mirror, like that's where my self, you know, image was and is, to be honest, it's just hard to do your job. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not like, you know, again, I'm not trying to like whine and cry about everything. My life is so very good, but it just is what it is. I'm just being honest with you. So let me tie it together. Why I told you about COVID. I told you about the eyes. Long story short, after a lot of talking to lots of different doctors. I finally went to a naturopath. This is a whole other rant about like the American healthcare system because one, why is an eye doctor different than a regular doctor? Two, why do they just wanna push antibiotics to me and not even ask me what I'm eating or how I'm sleeping or what my environment is like? Three, why do I have to go to a naturopath that I pay for out of pocket that I am very fortunate to be able to afford to pay for out of pocket that I, a lot of other people are not? It's all, it's all a scam, let's just say that. The nutritionist that I talked to specifically has dealt with a lot of these long COVID cases. And that is kind of our theory is that the COVID sort of damaged my immune system to where now I'm having these autoimmune responses to something. She's worked with a lot of people like this who have been able to heal. So I am confident and hopeful that I will be on the road to healing as well. And the reason that I'm sharing all of this is just because, you know, this whole long COVID thing is kind of a new concept, right? I mean, we didn't even know that word, a, you know, four years ago. So it's all a work in progress. Doctors are learning, nutritionists are learning, individuals are learning. I also wanna to explain to you why I haven't maybe been the person you subscribe to. And three, I also just wanna empathize with those of you who struggle with, you know, chronic illness or even just something that you're going through for a season when it comes to freelancing and business because it's been emotional, it's been depressing. I felt like a failure. Last week I couldn't be online at all because of a multitude of things, extreme fatigue, extreme depression because my eye was at its worst. And you know, I just like get back to my emails and people don't, I'm like, hey, sorry, I had to be away for health things. And people don't even say, oh, I hope you're okay. Like, I, you know, it's just, I get it, it's just really hard to balance those human, real human feelings and running a business that relies on you and that people have expectations of. Anyway, the point of me saying all this is that 2022 Latasha standards, you know, I feel like a lot of people are holding me to 2022 standards, 2023 standards even, and 2024 Latasha is different. Um, hopefully for a season, hopefully I will be healing, but maybe not, you know, maybe this is just different. Maybe my life is just different now. And I'm very grateful that I have a flexible job, flexible career, but you know, things are different.
And yeah, I empathize with those of you who have dealt with things like this longer than I have. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to share. I am hopefully back to vlogging. I got a really nice comment. I was asking for video suggestions and a very nice comment from Samantha said that she really loves my vlogs and I really love my vlogs too. I know they don't get the most views. I know they're not the most popular, but they do feel the most true to me. And they're the things that I like to look back on on my videos. So I do wanna do some more vlogging. So obviously the Friday videos are always gonna be here that are more structured and, and how-to style, but yeah, I want to share more about what's going on for all of us because I think my business may be changing a little bit. You know, we can appreciate our different seasons. And I know that a lot of you are going through different seasons too, whether it is illness or even if you're just starting a family or whatever, like, you know, maybe we just have to say goodbye to girl boss hustle, you know, again, 2022 era Latasha and say hello to like, making candles, which is a thing that I'm trying to do. This one turned out messed up. Maybe we'll take you along for that this week. Um, vacation, Latasha. Healthy eating, Latasha, right? So candle wax all over my leggings, Latasha. Anyway, let's get some work done. I'm gonna show you what's on my to-do list for today and we'll go from there. Maybe not perfectly clean, but clean enough. So on to the next thing, which is I'm going to do a little bit of prep for filming. I've got to figure out what I want to batch, when I want to batch it, when I want to produce it. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go sit outside. It's beautiful out. It's, I already went for a walk this morning and that was nice enough. It was like 40 degrees, but now it is 51. So I think I'm going to go have my first little patio sit on my favorite my favorite round chair, bring my laptop out there and just do some content planning. Let's go. It's a little windy out here. It's a lot windy out here. to go for another walk and then just put my head down and get some lesson planning and some email, emails done. But I wanted to pause for a little snack. I got sent these Papadelics mushroom chips. I got three different kinds and I really am saving them for tonight for a snack, but I'm kind of really hungry right now. So I wanna take just like a couple of bites of one. Let's see, which one do I wanna try? There's red rosemary and salt, twisted Thai chili, and a trippin' truffle parm. I love everything truffle. I'm having like a truffle moment where I'm just obsessed with truffle flavor. And it's vegan. Vegan, gluten-free, they all are. Even though it does say parm, I think it's like vegan parm. Just to clarify. In addition to being real mushrooms, dried shiitake mushrooms. Mm, smells very truffly. This purchase also helps support the Fun Gal Snacks Foundation which is a charitable organization that supports various causes centered around health and wellness, including John and Hopkins Center. That's cool. Wow, they're like real shiitake. I love that. Oh my gosh. It definitely gives you that like chip sensation. You know, if you're just sitting watching TV, want something crunchy, a little salty, a little seasoned. I can definitely get down with it. All right, so I made the mistake that I always tell you all not to make, which is putting too many items on your to-do list. I've got a million things here and it kind of feels discouraging because even though today was super, super productive, thanks to the sunshine over here, um, it feels like I haven't gotten much done because I only have two things crossed off. So don't do that. My advice is don't put any more than like three items, three big, you know, projects on your to-do list. I am going to, I wanna get to a stopping point 
for the day at a reasonable hour today though. So I'm gonna wrap up with a couple of things. One, I just need to email back. So I opened up for the first time in I think three years. This is wild. I opened up one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring again, packages for those. And the reason for that is because I've just been thinking about what is feeding me in this season. I think I got away from doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff just because honestly, it's not super profitable to be honest. And there's a certain number that I will not charge for one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So it's not super profitable, but I love doing it. And I have been working with a couple of people just really selectively, like as they, they've reached out inbound and it's really been lighting me up. And I'm like, what is making me happy? Again, theme of the episode of the video theme of the year fun what am i having fun doing what do i really look back on last year and feel proud about so i got a couple of applications in for that so i'm going to go through those send booking invites to people i sent out an email yesterday and like i said i'm only booking out a couple couple of people for the year but if you are interested just send me a message on instagram at the latasha james and i will send you the application for it so you can read more about it and apply if you're interested and if I still have spots available. So I'm gonna do that because that'll be quick and easy. And of course I use HoneyBook for all my booking of that. And then the last thing that I'm gonna wrap up the day with is my slides for Thursday's class in SMMA. So I kind of go through every year and update the slides. It should be pretty simple because the framework is there. So I just need to like tweak it, update it, maybe add some interactive kind of questions and things like that. And I'm gonna be honest, that's not the thing I wanna work on. The thing that I really wanna work on is editing this vlog and also editing my client's videos, which my client is named Norris. Some of you may know him, but he actually started doing travel advisory, which is really exciting. We love to travel. And so he books travel for people, vacations, but also business travel or, you know, whatever people need. And I was like, you need to be on TikTok, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, all the things, of course. So I have so much travel footage on my hard drives. I always post them like on my second channel or on Instagram or whatever, but I'm like, let me just take some of this content and build out some content for you based on stuff that I already have. So that's a project that I really wanna work on. I think would be fun, would be easy, but we're gonna have to wait for another day for that because I've got too much on my plate right now. But let me know if you'd like me to show you that process, I guess, of repurposing some of my content for him. Maybe we can talk about it in a future vlog, but I'm gonna get some work done. We're gonna make a black bean burger for dinner and we're gonna watch 90 Day Fiance. And the reason, don't even come at me, the reason I'm watching such a silly show is 90 Day Fiance is number one. Silly shows are what make the world go round in my opinion, but also Gino lives in Michigan. He's a Michigan man. We love a Michigan man. Anyway, thank you all so much, seriously, for watching this vlog. This has felt really good to just get some stuff off my chest that I've kind of been holding in for six months. So I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you in general, genuinely. You are the reason I do this. You're the reason I turn on the camera and open up the laptop. I greatly appreciate you all being here and positivity, good things are on the horizon. I feel it in my bones for you and for me, so. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.